hopefully ain't nobody stealing. My name is Lindsay if this is your first time here and if you've been tuning in what's up what's good what's tea welcome back so as you can tell from the title today's video is what I wish I had known before I went to beauty school so if you know or if you've seen my previous videos I'm kind of doing like sound like a series I guess just basically like my experience of beauty school my experience being an esthetician so without further ado let's jump right into this video not in any particular order I'm just gonna kind of go down a list of things that I wish I known before going to beauty school or while I was in beauty school like in the beginning okay so the first thing would be making up hours for beauty school you have a certain amount of hours that you have to complete and it's different state to state so depending on what state would depend on how many hours that you have to do for me, I live in Texas and I'm licensed in the state of Texas. We had to complete 750 hours. So I had a six month program. It was three days a week, 10 hour day, 750 hours. Now, what I wish I had known was making up hours or like missing hours. They calculate exactly how many hours you will need to complete in order to be eligible to take the state board. So if you miss class, you miss hours and when you miss hours you have to make them up I know things happen you have vacations planned you get sick you have to take care of something you have to go to the doctor whatever the case may be if you're going to miss class and you know in advance like a vacation or something like that make up your hours early so before you miss make them up because if you wait till the end of your program it all stacks up and girl, you don't want to be the one who has to stay a week, two weeks, three weeks after graduation because you have to make up your hours. And honestly, you will end up or you can end up paying more tuition because you're taking longer to complete the program, if that makes sense. So if you can, make up your hours before you miss them. So if it's something like an emergency and it's not, um, you're missing school not, and it's not planned, Make it up as soon as possible. As soon as possible, make it up because do not wait until the end. Don't do it. Please don't. Do me a favor. Don't be that girl. Or people will try like the last couple weeks. They'll come every single day and you honestly like burn out trying to make up your hours all at the end. The second thing would be take pictures, videos, of whatever it is that you're doing whether it be something that you're learning whether it be your first time doing a wax your first time doing a facial your first time doing whatever take plenty of videos and pictures because you want to track your improvement you want to track your journey and you want to have things to look back on to remember your experience the next thing will be participate in any event so with, a, with my school, I went to Aveda, they had a lot of different things, like they had like fashion shows and things of that nature. Take part in any event that you can because it, again, it has to do with your experience. And your experience at beauty school is only going to be as great as you make it. So definitely participate in any type of event extracurricular activity or if like you, there's opportunities for you to get hours or for you to get yeah, for you to get hours outside of school. For instance, if there's like, I had an event where I was able to work with Image Skincare and I was able to work at one of their um, events that they were putting on in the city for um, salons that ca carry their retail. So it basically was them announcing their new line for that new season. And I got hours for working it. I met amazing people. I was able to connect. And that brings me to my next thing is connect with people network with people outside of school during school because again sometimes it's not what you know it's who you know and you never know what those relationships can get you in this industry it's a very it seems like a big industry but it's very 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 small and you want to make sure that you have you make good impressions with everyone that you meet within the industry because again you never know where those 
things and those people's and those relationships can take you. Labeling your kit. Everyone's kit essentially is exactly the same. So you want to label your kit in a way that it's gonna last throughout school. It's gonna last the wear and tear. It's gonna last your six months or however many months your program is. You're going to want to label your kit because things get mixed around, especially like when you're up in clinic and or if you have like lockers and you leave your kit overnight somebody loses something and what do they do they just try to find something or take something hopefully ain't nobody stealing that doesn't belong to them just so they can keep their kit stocked i guess so label permanently so someone can't like what i had did was i we had placed like these little like stickers on our things but stickers can be taken off easily so do something that's like permanent maybe writing your initials with a permanent marker whatever the case may be whatever it works but you need to find a way to label permanently label your things staying on top of practicals so you want to make sure that you're on top of it because again you don't want to wait to the end and you're having to do 20 brow waxes the last week of school don't do that. Don't be that person. Like, really stay on top of your practicals and make sure that you are completing things in a timely manner because school's already stressful enough. It can be. And you just want to make sure, again, that this experience is as pleasant as possible and not waiting to the end to make up your hours or not waiting to the end to make up all your practicals will definitely, definitely save you a lot of stress. Another thing I wish I knew was how easy state board would be. I'm a type of person where I get anxious and I kind of worry a lot and there's something that I know about myself and that I'm working on and especially the second half of school I was really 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 in my head about state board and like passing state board and some people make it seem like it was way harder than it really was when for me personally it was so so easy.